the purpose of this video is to help you understand how to take notes in chemistry. I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. So you start off with the criteria. Objective, so every set of notes has to have the objective, a minimum of three concepts with supporting detail. And then after you take notes, you'll have practice problems. I want you to use those practice problems to revise and add detail to your notes. At the bottom of your notes, you'll uh, include a brief summary based on the prompt provided. So you'll start with a prompt every time uh, from Google Classroom. Here it is, laboratory science. That's the first set of notes is over laboratory science. So we need to title our notes. We're going to start on page eight. We've numbered all of our pages, odd numbers, right? So you find number nine and then the previous pages, page eight. It's laboratory science. So you title that page. Then you go to your table of contents and you say, okay, laboratory science is our first set of notes and that is on page eight. Make sure that you're keeping your table of contents up to date. So our first criteria is the objective. We will describe safety procedures and concerns in the lab. There it is. You write your objective. And then next, you'll be assigned a reading or a power lesson. It's your choice. So section 1.1, pages 12 through 16, or the power lesson. Well, how do you get there? You go to Sapling. So Sapling is a website that has your textbook, a video lesson, and it also has um, practice problems. So if you go to Sapling down here for Chapter 1, Section 1.1, Laboratory Science, this is the textbook. The link below that is the power lesson. So you click on the textbook, and if you scroll down, it will give you the page number. So page 12, or you could use the power lesson. The power lesson is a Laboratory video, science. and it basically gives you the same information as the textbook. So if we go through and we look at this, we say, all right, safety concerns, safety equipment. Do we need to list every piece of equipment, what it is, what it's used for? Probably not. You really need to focus on main ideas and concepts and information that you are not familiar with. So when you read over the section, you go, okay, I don't need to know all of this because I know it already. I already know what a fire extinguisher is. I already know what a fire blanket is issue though is the the location where is that equipment that's what you need to know on the next page it talks about general guidelines when you take notes is, is it a good idea to list every single guideline no of course not but what you do notice about this is it's mostly common sense and thinking in a way that will help you protect yourself and others and also following instructions so keeping your area neat is another one that's really important. Um, and then, of course, protecting yourself. That means gloves, apron, goggles, wearing the right equipment. So next we have um, handling of chemicals. Well, that's really something most of you are not familiar with. So let's look at it. Do we need to list every single guideline here for handling chemicals? chemicals. Now, I think most of it's pretty self-explanatory. It depends on what you know, what you've been exposed to. For example, do not return chemicals to a stock bottle. Do not hold containers. Don't point containers at your face or yourself because what happens if there's a reaction that could, um, that could hurt you? When you're mixing acid and water, pour the acid into the water instead of water into acid. So again, you don't have to list every single guideline. You don't have to copy the page. You write what you need. It's information that's going to be helpful to you later. So the next page is conservation of resources. This is pretty straightforward. Conservation of resources is pretty straightforward. Um, conserve, recycle, dispose. The last section is uh, MSDS. That's material safety data sheets. Sometimes you need to include a diagram. Then you'll go into sapling, do your practice problems. Once you've done your practice problems, you'll come back and